Are you tired of all these hour-long videos just to tell you what all the patch notes are? Well, here's the video for you. Everybody's buffed. Video over. <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously, though. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. The reworking competitive Overwatch 2 added a whole new rank called Rank Champion, with Champ 1 being the most exclusive, going to only be about the top 50 players in the game. And with that, they are resetting everyone's MMR, so your first 10 placement games are going to matter a lot. This, So make sure to play your best hero and really grind out, maybe stack with some friends, get the best possible rank to start off for you guys. Overwatch has also added new Jade Weapon Skins. They will only be available through playing competitive and getting competitive points, and your old competitive points that you used to buy gold guns will no longer work for Jade Weapons. They'll still be able to work for gold weapons if you want to get those in the new season, but they will not transfer over to the jade weapons for this year. Next up, they are buffing everyone's projectile size. So basically all you need to know is that your shots are going to be easier to hit, whether you're playing hit scan like Ash or you're playing a projectile like Hanzo or Farah. Everyone's shots are going to be easier to hit. Next up, health increases. Tracer and Widow will both get 25 HP. So Tracer will be 175 HP, whereas Widow will be back to 200. All other DPS will get a 50 health increase, so 200 HP girls go to 250, 250 go to 300, and all tanks are increasing their health by 75 to 100 HP this season. Next up, everyone gets a heal passive. After 5 seconds of not taking damage, everyone's going to regen 20 health per second. DPS gets a huge new passive. Whoever you target with your damage is going to reduce 20% of the health that they take. So whether that's the tank, the other support that's getting healed, they're all reducing 20% health from that they would be receiving. And support passive was changed from 2 to 2.5 seconds from when their health regen will start now. New crosshair updates and colors have been added. Now for the reworks. They have reworked Farah, adding her a somewhat like a dash ability like Hanzo, as you can see in this clip here. And they have also reworked Junkertown, adding more cover and changing some of the map. And now for hero changes. To start it off, there is a global alt nerf for every single hero. That being cost increase for ultimate abilities has gone up by 10%. And with that, Quick Melee is going from 30 damage to 40 damage for all heroes. Starting off with D.Va, her ultimate self-destruct has a damage increase from 900 to 1000, while the falloff has increased from 4 to 6 meters for the maximum damage. Doomfist has a health increase from 300 to 375, while Rocket Punch has a max impact damage increased from 50 to 75, and max wall slam damage increased from 30 to 40. Junker Queen's ultimate rampage wound damage from over time is going from 60 to 90 damage. So in total it does about half of a 225 HP's health pool still. Ryan Pin is going from 225 to 275 damage, whereas his hammer is going from 85 to 100 damage. Winston's Tesla Cannon has increased from 60 to 75 DPS, whereas his Primal Rage Punch is going from 40 to 50 damage. And now for DPS. For Ash, Bob's weapon damage has increased from 14 to 17, and Cassidy's ultimate has got a buff. His initial damage rate increased from 130 to 150, whereas the damage rate increased from 260 to 300. Echo's ultimate duplicate has her maximum combined health value increased from 300 to 350. Genji has finally gotten a buff. His swing recovery decreased from 0.9 to 0.7 seconds. Hanzo's Storm Arrows have went from 65 to 75 damage, and the cooldown has been reduced from 10 to 8 seconds. Bar's Rocket Launcher has reduced from 0.85 to 0.8 seconds, so it's going to shoot a little bit faster. Projectile Speed increased, and her Explosion Self Damage reduced from 50% to 25%, so you'll be able to do a little bit more jump text without needing that Mercy Pocket. She has a new ability called Jet Dash, as we showed before. It gives her a quick horizontal boost of movement in the direction that she's moving, just like Hanzo Leap. And you can also put it on double jump, just like Hanzo if you'd like that. Her jump jet, her left shift for her PC players, now restores 50% of Hover Jet's fuel and can briefly overfill the maximum fuel amount, while reducing its maximum height, and it increases the cooldown from 10 to 14 seconds. Her Concussive Blast got a cooldown decrease from 9 to 7 seconds, with a very slight nerf to the knockback distance on enemies. And also, Barrage now instantly refills hover jet fuel. And with hover jets, it no longer recharges in the air when you're not using it. You have to land on the ground for it to fully recharge, and it's going to move you around a bit faster than before. But now you can use jump to slowly descend at a faster rate than before, just like with Mercian's Guardian Angel. And now for supports. Briggs Rocket Foil got a damage increase from 35 to 45. Lucio, his damage has been increased from 25 to 35 on his boop, 
while the knockback has been increased 12%. Mercy's Guardian Angel has been reduced from 1.5 to 1 second when using the Crouch Cancel, while her passive has been increased from 25 to 40% of healing delts. Mora's right click, her Biotic Grasp, and her secondary fire has been increased from 50 to 65 damage per second. And lastly, Zenyatta is now a tank at 275 HP. Huh? Thank you guys so much for watching, it really does mean a lot. And if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe, it really does help.